Welcome to Learn to Knit Lesson 1. We're going to learn how to knit and the first step for learning to knit is casting on um, stitches onto one of your knitting needles. So you have two knitting needles and a skein of yarn and the skein wrapper will tell you what size of needle to use with the particular yarn that you have. So the wrapper for this skein said 10, uh, US 10, and we happen to have some US 10 and a halves, and I particularly like the bamboo, so we're using those. So we take one of the needles and unwrap a bit of your yarn, and you take the yarn Leave a little tail, because we'll weave it in later, but you need um, enough of a tail to be able to weave in. So you want it nice oh, and long. Oh, this is so soft. Okay, don't talk during this, okay? So then what you do to cast on the very first one is, why don't you come and look right here. So you make a little loop like this, and then you pull through to make a little slip knot and then you put your needle through the slip knot then you put the yarn underneath your hand except over your pinky and then you close your pinky then you take your index finger and put it underneath the yarn that's between the needle and your pinky and you make a little hill. And then you take your thumb and you do a wrapping of your thumb. So then you put your thumb down on top of that same bit of yarn that's between your index finger and the needle and then wrap it one time. Now you are ready to cast on. Those are the three things you need to do. You have enough tension and movement and control to be able to cast on. So you put your index finger on the one slip stitch that's on the needle just to control it. And then you put your hand palm face up palm up and you take the needle and you put it right underneath the yarn that's on your thumb right through there and you cast on a stitch look at that you got your stitch do another then through your th the hoop on your thumb and then look at there you got another stitch the most important thing is the amount of tension on your needle these stitches need to be loose they can't be really tight if they're tight it will ruin your piece of knitting but they can't be so loose that you don't see the form of the stitches you want it to be about like this, where they can move around nicely and freely on the needle and yet <clears throat> have uh, a consistent space in between them. All right, so we have our first three stitches, so let's do it again. Pinky, move your hand over, do your finger, and then your thumb. You're creating a loop with your thumb, put your needle through, and just pull down. We'll do it again, like this. I can sit in a movie theater and do this all day long without even looking. It gets very easy once you're used to it. <laughs> so we're gonna cast on a bunch of these stitches and you'll see we'll have 
little bunch on the needle here. And we're going to make a scarf. And it's going to be a lovely scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, does that look about as wide as you want the scarf to be, or do you like yes. it to be an extra wide scarf? It does look about how wide it should be. Okay, so let's then, if this is just visually about as wide as you want it to be, then we'll count and then be determined to, we're gonna be committed to counting the stitches every single time we do a row. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So we are going to make a stitch. We are going to make a scarf out of a 22 stitch row pattern. <laughs> Voila!